These are our new Dresden tools that work with your Dresden plate. This is the spike and two different peepers. The peepers are in two different sizes. Taking a strip of fabric, just cut as we do, cut out our spike. And using the peeper, cut the peepers. The peepers are a very fine piece that's added into the Dresden plate. Once you've cut the pieces, we will need to press them. Fold the piece wrong sides together and press. Do the same with the peepers. This is the small peeper. It's only a very small piece of fabric. Press carefully. I have sewn 8 point Dresden plate. I have put the standard top on the piece and now I'm going to put the spike into the seam. Align the spike just a little bit down from the top. I use glue now. I put a small line of glue down the edge of the seam and place the spike in place. And then I press to set the glue. I do this so that it makes it easy to put the next piece in place and pin in place for sewing. Make sure the top edge is aligned and pin. I will now sew this piece back stitching at the start and sewing off to the end. Once it's been sewn, I have pressed it and then pressed the seam open at the back. Take a fine knitting needle or sharp object and I'm going to open the piece, pressing that crease to the center, matching the seam underneath. Now the spike is loose on each side. Trim off the ends of the spike to match the plates. And now just sew the four pieces together. I could have the spike going in four of the seams or I can have the spike in eight of the seams. This is the block finished with four spikes which have been pressed open. This block has a rounded point top and eight spikes pressed open. This block only has four spikes and I've pressed the spikes in one direction, pressing it to one side and then I've sewn the end of the spike into the seams. This is eight points pressed in one direction and sewn into the seams. Same block in a different colourway and another colourway. Using the peepers, we use the peepers the same as we do the spike. I'm going to place a line of glue at the edge of the seam, put the peeper down and press. I can use one peeper or I can use two. Another line of glue, place the peeper on top and press. I'm now going to put my next plate on top, pin it and sew. 
and this is the finished block. I've used a red and a green paper in the two sizes, giving a lovely delicate touch to the centre of the block. In this block I've used the round point top. I've put two spikes into the centre, going pressed into the same direction, and I've used the round point top with a piece of scrap to cut my centre piece. This block has a spike and a peeper, both pressed into the centre of the block. This has a spike in the middle, which has been opened flat, and on the outside I've used spikes and pressed them both to the centre. This one has a two peepers in two different colours and I've pressed them in the same direction. This one I've used the spike and I've stitched in the middle and then pressed the pieces out, giving me a lovely curved piece in this shape. In this one I've used the spike, all pressed out. This one I've used the spike and I've pressed them to the centre and I've put them on alternating blocks. This one I've used a ver this paper, small paper in the centre. This one I've got the spike and I've pressed the spike towards each other and I've used them only on four of the points. This is our new Dresden plate topper. It's topper number five and it's a lovely long thin elegant shape. This is using the Persian point topper and the rounded point topper and I've used a 12 inch and a 10 inch. I've sewn the pieces into the seam as I've gone. This is the round point topper in a 10 and a 12 inch and I've just put the different pieces into the alternating blocks. Again I have sewn the pieces in when I've sewn the seams together. This one I've used a 12 point round point top and a 10 point round point top. 